kind of rule. Today I'll be talking about the open CR bot. The open CR stands for the open source control module for ROS. It is a controller developed for the ROS embedded systems to provide completely open source hardware and software. Here are the specifications for the open CR bot. I'll be overlaying the pin layout map right here. Next, I would like to uh, introduce the components that we'll be playing out with today. The four LEDs right here, the push buttons, switch one and two here, and we'll be playing with the built-in buzzer. So the first thing we need to do before we get started is to install um, Arduino. And you have not installed, here are the links to install. Once you install uh, Arduino, you have to run this line of codes so that you'll be able to upload the programs without root permission. And you have, since the OpenCI is also built for 32-bit platform, a 64-bit PC needs a 32-bit complier. And this is the code for that. Once you have Arduino installed, you have to run it. Open my Arduino up. And you have to add the board manager for OpenCR. So the link for that would be here. You will just need to copy this link and include it into your additional board manager URL. Once you paste it here, click OK. Go to Tools, Mod, Mods Manager, and type OpenCR. For your case, if you have not installed the uh, OpenCR before, you will see this as install. Since I've installed it, it's removed. The current version is 1.5.1. And once that is done, you'll be able to see some examples for OpenCR right here. So the three codes that I'll be going through today would be the LED light, the push buttons and the buzzer. For the LED light, you can run this simple code, which will actually loop the four LED lights, uh, LED pin to high and low, and it'll be repeated in a sequence. So let's run this code and we'll see what it does. So it, as you can see right here, the LED pins are actually being um, run in a sequence where the first light will go up high and then low, and then the next LED will go high and low, then it's repeated for a never ending loop. That is how we can actually uh, play around with the LEDs. Just make sure that we have to use the correct pins for the LEDs. Next code that I'll be uh, showing you would be the push buttons. So what it does is actually once you press the switch button, the serial monitor will display a change in number. So if it's, uh, I believe it's switch two, it'll be a 10. If it's switch one, it'll be a one. If it's not pressed, it will be zero. So let's just upload the code. Once it's done uploading, we open up serial monitor. Right. So we have two columns. One is a deep state and the other column is for push state. So this deep state is actually beside the power LED light. But today we'll be using the push buttons. So let's just play with the push button one first. Um, when we press the push button 1, you can see the push state is now set to 1. If I let it go, it will go back to 0. Now, you can actually press uh, the second button. It now displays a value of 10. And when I let it go, it goes back to 0. So that's how we can actually play with the pins and it can be used for other variations. The last code that I'll be showing you 
the built-in buzzer and this is the code. So for this code, uh, it requires this file of all the pages and in the main file, you have to include these pictures. You will call the notes from the pitch section. And this is the duration for each pitch. And simply, you will just reiterate this melody using the, the pitches and the duration. And then there'll be a pause in between so that it will sound more like a song. Let's upload this code and you'll hear what um, this code plays. So that's a very short melody. I'll show you what you can do if you modify the code. This is a modified version. Same thing, you'll use the pitches. These pitch are constants, it does not change. And here's the melody which you can play around. You can play around with the durations. And it's the same line of code. Let's upload this code and you'll hear the melody. So if you want to learn more about ROS, you can click the links below in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're looking forward to more videos, do hit the subscribe button. Until then, see you in the next video.